So how do I use iCloud? So I don't need to plug my iPad into my computer. What I need to do is I just need to go to my settings. In my settings on the left hand side you'll see that there's an option called iCloud. And then I can choose what I want to sync with my iCloud. Now remember you have a certain amount of storage of your iCloud so that might influence what you do choose to back up and synchronize with the iCloud. One of the things that I personally like to do is I like to ensure my contacts are backed up but I also like to ensure that my photos are backed up because that's the sort of thing that is very personal and precious if for any reason I lost my iPad. The other thing I also switch on is the Find My iPad. Now the Find My iPad, if you look into the app section of School WA, it talks about the Find My iPad app. But it basically this is where you switch it on and it also ensures that if for any reason my iPad is lost, then I can go online or go onto any iPhone, iPad and identify where my iPad is. So we're talking about the storage and backup so I'm going to click now on the storage and backup and what this will do is it will tell you what your total storage is and what your available storage is. You can see that I have a total storage of 55 gig. I pay a little bit to allow myself to get more storage but the free storage is 5 gig. I then have the iCloud backup switched to on. Now what this means is that whenever I'm plugged in, my iPad is not in use and I'm in a Wi-Fi area, it will automatically back up. So it was last backed up on the 18th of the 6th, so a couple of days ago, and at 1.55 p.m. So anything that I've done in the last couple of days, if I was to get a brand new iPad and to restore from that backup, it wouldn't have those changes in. But it's great because the iPad will just automatically do it in the background. So uh, iCloud, my personal choice for backup and storage, but of course you could use iTunes as well.